Hello everyone, um, welcome to a very off-the-cuff um, tutorial for how to use the new scene system in Sandbox and it's at, in the editor. So um, this just goes over the basics, I'm not going to go too in-depth on specific things, however I will eventually hopefully make more specific tutorials because I really feel like we need that more than ever right now. But anyway, so if you have access to the game, you can start doing this now. Um, to open the editor, in case you've never done it before, just go to Sandbox, um, click play, and it should give you these options. I just do launch game editor. I have it on my taskbar and my desktop for easier access, um, but you can just go through Steam. Um, so that's going to boot up, and I'll just cut to when it's um, booted up. Alright, so um, now, if you haven't booted it up before, you probably won't see as many projects here as um, you do right now. Half of these I will never complete. But, um, if you want to create a new project, click the thing that says New Project. And, um, yeah, just name it here. And um, I'm going to call it Tutorial. Oh, awesome Tutorial Project. And um, that also gives it an indent the um location that you want as well to put the files in is very important but yeah so we're just going to create this and um yeah this isn't the scene view you'll see automatically um if i was to reset my layout this is what you'll be seeing um however i do like to move the windows around like i like i showed but i will show you this view um so yeah you have a couple views here you have the um scene view here which is well the scene um, you have the hierarchy, which is all the different um, game objects in the scene, and then the inspector. And the inspector is when you select a component like this cube, it shows up with the different. Or when you select a game object like the cube, it shows the different components it has. In this instance, there's the model renderer component, which handles models, um, and there's this component called my component, which we'll get into in a bit. But that's a custom component. Yeah, so you can move around, WASD, uh, if you have experience with Unity, it's pretty much just you, uh, to move around, just do it like Unity. Um, but yeah, um, so you have controls up here, or you have different tools up here to move objects, scale, rotate, and you can move them around, like here, move the plane around. It's it's pretty basic stuff, It's but it's pretty simple, and I think that's really good. Um, but yeah, so you have your camera here, shows a little camera preview, and it has a camera game object. Um, so if I wanted to create a new game object, I just right click on the hierarchy, and I would click cube, or like all this, this one creates an empty one, but if I want to create another cube, I just click cube, and it gives me a default cube here. If I want to create a light, I'll just click point light, and it'll create one. Yeah, th this is, it's really easy to do. Um, but let's go back to the cube. Um, so yeah, you see the model renderer component and my component. Um, my component is a custom component, um, which you write, you create, this is where the programming comes in. Um, so this new system uses a game object component system, in which you have the game object, and then it has multiple components attached to it, which handle basically all the logic. Um, so the model renderer handles, you know, models. Um, if we go to the sun, the sun has a directional light um, component which handles directional lighting. That's the sun. Um, but here, my component is a completely blank one, uh, just as an example built in. You can create your own. Um, so if you wanted like add another component to this, you can go here and press um, like this. Like say I want to add in a. Uh, let's say I want to add in, I don't know, like I just a completely random one. Um, we'll just do my, another my component. You just add it that way. If you want to create another component, uh, like a brand new, completely new component in code, you can do this shortcut where you click on Add Component, New Component, give your component a name, and select the Simple Component Template or the Razor Panel uh, Component Template. Uh, Razor is the UI system not relevant to this tutorial. Now, something different from the old entity system is um, all this here, like everything is edited in the scene. You don't have to recompile the code and change things or recompile a hammer map. 
um, it's all here. As such, um, in the editor, you would have seen these different uh, properties, which you can change on each component. Uh, the model renderer has its model, its tint, its material override, and these are all variables you can change, and it changes stuff on the model. Um, my component has one here as an example string property. Um, if you were to go to the code, you'll see here that it's marked with the um, property attribute. Um, so whenever you want to um, give a variable to the editor so that you can adjust it, um, you just need to give it the property tag. So in this instance, if I want an integer, I just do integer int property. And then also you got to add get and set at the end. And it just will, when I click on this again, um, Oh, I need I need compile it. You need compile it. Um, when you click on it again, it will show up, and it will have the integer which you can adjust. And it works for most things. Um, some variable type variable types don't have implementation yet, um, but I'm sure some will be coming in the future. Um, yeah. Another thing to notice is that um, the each component has different methods you can override. Here you have on update, but there's also on fixed update, which is the tick system. Um, there's on start, on enabled, and a bunch of others. I will link the documentation down below, which contains a full list of them. Um, yeah, it's a really simple system, and hopefully this gives some foundation as to what it is. Um, there is a tutorial by Carson explaining how to make a character controller. I will link and also a tutorial by Smallfish explaining um, what the heck the scene system is anyway. And I do highly recommend those tutorials um, slash explanations. They really help. But something that helps a lot more is getting in, um, just getting into it and doing it. Um, you can learn a lot by just doing it and practicing. But I will try my best to put out more tutorials on other things such as Razor UI and a lot more. This is a very off-the-cuff thing. Um, I didn't go into too much detail, but hopefully it does help.